Total War Saga Troy has a faction variety problem. Only 8 playable factions in the base game, and 12 if you own both of the Lord Pack DLCs. By comparison, Total War Attila has 29 factions, Rome 2 36, and Warhammer 2 40. Frankly, this really hurts Troy's replayability. Well, I'm happy to announce that modding legend Vandy of Warhammer 2 modding fame volunteered to make a faction unlocker mod himself, and he has already released it on Steam. It's exactly what I wanted, a bare-bones faction unlocker similar to Mixu's famous one for Total War Warhammer 2. Faction unlockers have been a big boon for my and many others' enjoyment of Total War ever since the early days of Rome 1, editing the text file to play as Thrace, Spain, and Macedon. Just look at how popular Nordo's faction unlocker is for Rome 2. 50,000 subscribers. Now you might be thinking, why should I care about this? The unlocked factions don't have traits, unique mechanics, unique heroes, or unique units. Well, let me break this down from a modding perspective. This changes everything. Modding the start pause file, which controls which factions are playable, which factions own which territories, starting diplomatic treaties, things like that, is an absolute nightmare. I have hundreds of hours of modding experience with Total War games, but I haven't messed with the start pause since Empire Total War a decade ago because of how intimidating it is. Sure, the mod is perfectly playable now, and there are some really interesting starts you can play right now like Nosos, Epirus, and Rhodes. But the true value here is that because of this mod, faction overhauls, the likes of which we see dozens of in Warhammer 2, are now possible. New legendary lords, new units, new mechanics, modders can go to town, and they won't have to worry about messing with the start pause file. What's even better is that modders now have Vandy's unlocker as a base when they're creating their faction overhaul mods, which will greatly help with compatibility between them. I wanted to share this with you all as soon as possible because Troy has huge modding potential, especially now that it's on Steam and Mythos exists. The engine's similarities with Warhammer 2's will help a lot here, because Warhammer 2's modding scene is massive, and it has detailed tutorials and documentation thanks in large part to absolute heroes like Vandy, Kataf, and others over at the Modding Den Discord, which I highly, highly recommend checking out. This means that there's a wealth of both experienced modders whose skills will transfer easily from Warhammer 2 to Troy, and a wealth of information for novices looking to dive in and learn how to make mods themselves. I never would have been able to make my Endgame Crises mod for Warhammer 2 without the help of Vandy and others in the Modding Den Discord. So I jump at any and every opportunity I can to shout these guys out. So far, there aren't any actual faction overhaul mods yet, but it's still early days of Troy's existence on Steam. I wouldn't be surprised to see a Nosos, Dorian, or Athenian overhaul popping up on the workshop at some point. Who knows, yours truly might even dive in and join in on the fun too. It wouldn't be the first time I modded Variety into a somewhat bland Total War campaign. And that's everything you need to know about Vandy's new faction unlocker for Total War Saga Troy. Hopefully this video was helpful to you. If it was, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel for more Total War modding coverage just like this. Thank you very much for watching, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you all in the next video.